it's your girl sass girl and back with another video and today i will be doing a review of avatar the last airbender versus oh my god why am i doing this the last airbender by m night Shyamalan. fuck i don't want to do this i don't want to do this i swear guys i promise i don't want to do this but Avatar The Last Airbender is my favorite show. It's the best. The moment it came out on Netflix, my husband, El Malo Burl, says, you know what, let's just watch it. Because we were looking for something to binge watch for a while. And then we started binge watching the three seasons. And by the end of it, I was just over the moon, happy with it. I loved the show. I loved I love Katara. I loved the characters. Toph, a badass bitch. But I really loved the show. It really, to be honest, it's the first time a show actually gave a villain the best redemption arc I have ever seen. M movies, you can't do that. You just have to show the process of redemption. This is how you show it. But... That does not excuse the shit that came in 2010. M.I. Shyamalan, the man who made, well, the village and Lady in the Water, the happening, um, had to decide to make it all go to shit by doing The Last Airbender, which it doesn't say Avatar The Last Airbender like the previous show is based off of, it's just called The Last Airbender. Does it make it any better? Nope. There's a lot of good things about the show that I will say, and it's the characters. You, throughout the entire three seasons, you get to know these characters in a bunch of different ways. You start to love these characters. You grow bonds with them, and you watch them fall in love with each other and Katara, but you end up loving the show. And I've actually seen, I've been all over the internet, I've seen on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, everyone is loving the show. And to the point where they started doing their own reviews, hence the inspiration for this video. That, and back then, I remember my favorite, well current still favorite, YouTuber, the Nostalgia Critic from Channel Awesome here on YouTube, did a review of The Last Airbender about, I believe it was four years ago. And he didn't like the movie as much. He did day-to-day -day review of the show and the, did the, pretty much did a review on the movie. He didn't like it as much. And as I hear his opinion, I started thinking, okay, I need to find my own opinion on this movie. And by that, I would have to watch the movie myself. So my husband and I lie down on the couch and as the movie started, five, I'm not even fucking kidding you guys, I, I watched this movie for five minutes, and I already hated it. Let's just say, the characters, they basically don't look like they're, the characters on the show. They don't look like that, and the sooner, the moment Aang, I'm gonna bring this up later. The moment Aang is introduced, I take one look at this kid and go, that's not Aang. This is Aang. This is just a kid you found on the street. Or some, or you just found this kid and just go, dude, what, do you wanna play a character who's the last airbender? Sure, why not? I mean, I will give the kid credit. He's probably been in lots of good movies, but I am sorry, dude. You do not look like the Aang from this show at all. Hell, not a, a, none of the characters look like the other characters that they should have been inspired to be from the show. And I'm gonna bring this up as I was about to mention Aang. The pronunciation of the names, they spell, they said Aang Sokka and Iroh, so wrong. They pronounced it as Ong Suko. No, hang on. No, Suko and Iro. And I'm just like. <sighs> Do 
Yeah, I was getting massively infuriated. So anyway, I'm gonna tell you what happens. The entire show and movie is basically about these two characters, brother and sister, Katara and Sokka, who are out finding food and then they uh, turn up and they find this boy that's been stuck in an iceberg named Aang, who is the last, well, we find, uh, we come to find he's an airbender. And then the more we got to know Aang and got to know Katara and Sokka, we also find out that Aang is the Avatar. And basically what the Avatar is, is that it's the only person in the world that can bend earth, air, fire, and water. That is it. And is the only person that can protect everyone. Katara herself is a waterbender from the southern water tribe with her brother Sokka. It's just this entire world full of firebenders, earthbenders, airbenders, and waterbenders. Honestly, I would be an airbender because my zodiac sign is Aquarius and my element is air. So I'd be more than happy to know that I'm an airbender. And Aang would not be the only airbender left in the world. But yeah, basically, <laughs> the Fire Nation decides things should get hotter by killing the air nomads because the next avatar is an airbender in the cycle. That is what Ong called it in the movie. I guess the cycle. Yeah, it's basically the Avatar cycle. So, Prince Zuko, the Fire Prince of the Fire Lord, which is a badass villain and is built up very well throughout the show, and you don't really get to see him until season three. But in the movie, you basically see him right away, and you're just like, who the fuck is this guy? This is the Fire Lord. The Fire Lord badass that we've come to be afraid of. Okay, I'm not saying that the Fire Lord was built up to be a monster, but he was, but he was still damn intimidating. And it comes to the fact that I see why Azula loves him so much, but at the same time, she pretty much has mommy and daddy issues. Cocoa, cocoa, cocoa or Cocoa Puffs, am I right? <clears throat> But yeah, Prince Zuko has pretty much spent three years of his life because he's a banished prince looking for the Avatar to get his honor back. Or as, um, oh fuck, what was his name? Dante Bosco, he did a cameo um, in uh, the Nostalgia Critics videos, the top 11 good Avatar list airbender episodes where he just says, honor, honor, honor. And I'm just like, okay, you can hump the word honor all you want. But yeah, the, once they find out that Aang is the last airbender, they did, the last airbender and is the avatar, they come to help him try and perfect all of the elements. So he learned water from the water from the best master in the water tribe, and after finding out that the master waterbender is the man who had the hots for Sokka and <laughs> Katara's grandma and fixed it up later in season three and yeah and then you get this princess that becomes the moon again it, speaking of which i have a few things about that princess why did Shyamalan decide it'd be a good idea to give her penis hair in the movie did anyone not notice that because the moment that scene came on i immediately i spooked my husband doing this i yelled penis hair Oh my god, hang on, I need a break. This video is gonna be full of spoilers, so if you don't really know the show, I, I'm i not sorry. <laughs> I'm the one who likes spoilers. But yeah, Aang in season one learns water, season two learns earth by the badass, I, she is my favorite character. Her name is Toph. And she is a blind earthbender and pretty much can sense anyone through vibration. She is so fucking badass. I love her so much. She is so awesome. Her one-liners. I give credit to the uh, 
creators, they made it very easy to have us forget that Top is blind. They make it very easy. Because she she basically acts like, acts like a normal person. She's going off her day and you usually forget she's blind. And once you tell her, hey, watch out, she goes, seriously? I can't see. She even pointed out when they put a flyer in her face that has her face and she goes, what is wrong with you people? I'm blind. And I'm like, well, I'll tell if you make it very easy to forget. <laughs> We also get to know more about Aang's past, about how he handled being the Avatar. I mean, yeah, he ran away and basically gets caught in a storm and hundreds of years passed and he does just turn up. And he does feel bad at the fact that everything's gone to shit while he's gone. But at least he tries to make it better by giving people hope that hey I am back I'm gonna take on my position as the avatar and help everyone and stop the fire lord this Aang in the fucking movie he still shows that he doesn't want to be the avatar I mean yeah he freaks out and runs away but throughout the entire time he acts like it's still not a big fucking deal dude a lot of people are dying and I get it. You're 12 years old. I get, well, technically you're 112 years old. Because you've been stuck in an iceberg for 100 years. But that did not mean that you had to spend, Aang spent this entire movie acting like it's a big fucking, it's like people are shoving this in his face. Well, technically they are. How am I supposed to make this into a good argument? He acts like it's not even his job to begin with. And I spent the entire time looking at the screen, looking at Aang going, Dude, take on this responsibility. I mean, I know you can't take the pressure, but people are counting on you. There's no other avatars in the world. There's just you, and once you're dead, being reincarnated, that person will take over. How? Avatar Kyoshi, she took on the responsibilities. Avatar Roku, yeah, he freaked out, but he decided to stick around. And the amount of times he goes into the spirit realm, he's not talking to his previous lives. He's talking to a dragon. Who the fuck is that dragon? And the one thing that I hated most in this movie was that scene where Aang makes a big speech about standing up and fighting back as these, air these fucking earthbenders are trapping, hiding on the fuck. I'm gonna get sidetracked for a moment. These earthbenders in the show are trapped on a metal ship. They cannot bend earth. They're powerless. And it was Katara that gave him the inspiration and hope to fight back. These pussies are in a prison surrounded by earth. They're surrounded by Earth! And they claim they can't fight, they can't bend Earth because they're stuck in a surrounding that is full of Earth? What the f- Oh my god! Woo! And the moment they do fight back, it's done in the most ridiculous way possible. And the moment that scene showed up, my jaw was on the floor. It is five, six guys, as the camera pans to them, they're showing they just... <laughs> what the fuck was that? What was that? It looked like when they were doing a dance to I'm a Little Teapot. And as there, and there was one boulder floating, one boulder. If you remember watching the show, you know that one earthbender made a bunch of mountains. You get Toph, you get Boomy, you get Egg, the other earthbenders that you come to know in these shows, making giant hills, and if it was only one person doing it. So these five guys in this show that we claim to be such a big fan of, five of them lifted a fucking tank!
A fucking tank! And what did these pussies do? Left one rock while another guy goes, don't worry guys, I got it, take that. What the? Fuck. So yeah. You can honestly tell there is no versus in this game. You can clearly pr pretty much tell that the show wins. This movie can go fuck somewhere else. I liked the movie. I did like the movie at some point. I did. I'm being way too nice. I didn't like the movie. But I heard Netflix is going to be making a remake of this, of 2010's movie. The only thing I can say is make it good. Do not make it look like this Zuko from this movie look like he just has a really bad sunburn while this better Zuko has a very bad scar. Don't make it look like it's a sunburn. Make it look like an actual scar that he has gotten from his father. By the way, may I mention that Azula was the best villain I have ever seen? The entire time I watch her in that show, I go, God, what a bitch. She's so fucking awesome. But am I the I know that I'm not the only one here that knows she's gonna end up in the, in the same asylum in the comics. I saw that coming. <laughs> Me and my husband's cousin, and we were talking about the show and talking about how cool it was. I would love to watch Korra, uh, The Legend of Korra, that is a spinoff of Avatar The Last Airbender. And I do know I'm gonna love it because, well, it's a cinematic right after this one. But there can only be one avatar. That's all I can say. I'm gonna enjoy it. I know it's gonna be awesome. But the only thing I hope for is that they do not ruin Legend of Korra in the movie if they decide to make a Legend of Korra movie because you can make Avatar The Last Airbender and make it terrible, then you're probably gonna make Legend of Korra live action terrible as well. And also, am I the only one here to say that Toph is laughing at these five pussies over here that can only lift one rock? I think she's just going, even I'm, I can tell this is dumb. <laughs> even though she can't really see much. But I really grown to love the characters in the show. They really... The creators did a good job. I've ended up falling in love with the show. Hell, my Pinterest board, I have one board that was that's nothing but Avatar. And if every time I hear the word Avatar, I'm not gonna think about the Avatar like with, fuck, what was his name? I don't know. It was a submarine with these blue monkeys. I will say that movie was good. My favorite YouTuber called it a pussy turd. But I'm no longer going to think about that avatar. I'm going to think the badass avatar that we watched and we liked. What did you guys think of Avatar The Last Airbender? Let me know in, down in the comments below. And I'm sorry that I made so much tangents and this movie really brought it out of me. And all the excitement from the show just came out of me because I just really love this movie and I just hope that I brought y'all joy the way it did for everyone else in the world once Netflix brought it back I'm really glad they did but I really hope they did not they don't fuck up the live action one if they do fuck it up pray that's all I can say pray now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to go find something else to do. I mean, I'm sorry, guys, that I've been so out of, off of YouTube lately. It's just work has been getting stressful, especially during this coronavirus and trying to take care of my family, and which that has been difficult. This virus has made everything difficult for us, so let's try and be safe. Because this entire world is going batshit insane.
but at least there's YouTube. Am I right? Alrighty guys, if you like this video, hit that like button and make sure you hit that subscribe button at the bottom and hit the notification bell so that way you're notified about every video that I post and I hopefully will see you in the next video that will not be too long. If you guys have any ideas about what you guys want me to do for the next video, let me know in the comments below. I love you guys so much and until next time, peace.